Hi everybody, my name is Trudy Healy and I am your weekly angel card reader here for Beacons of Angel Light. And so this is your weekly reading beginning the week of um, November 7, 2016. And I'm recording today Monday actually because I got behind. I spent the weekend spending time with family and doing fun things. So um, I'll be using Doreen Virtue and Raleigh Valentine's Angel Cards. And so before we even get to the message, um, there's a couple things I wanted to talk about. Um, so for starters, this week we have 1111. And so 1111 is definitely an angel number. It's it's a divine number. A lot of people perceive it to be make a wish because it is a number of manifesting. So I want to remind you all to be careful of your thoughts because they will be unfolding before your own eyes. So if you're dwelling on the things that you fear, the things that you do not want to happen, that's what's going to happen if you're dwelling on it. However, if you're dwelling on what you want for yourself, what you want for others around you, and good happiness, you know, love, that's going to unfold. So let's shift the consciousness and make sure that we're manifesting the right things. That's happening this week. It's on 11-11. Also, um, so I'm in Florida, <laughs> in the United States, and we are currently dealing with the elections. I know there's other countries that are currently having their own elections, like um, in my mom's country, it's Nicaragua, and they're they're currently having their election and so we're crossing our fingers but it's like the dude that's in charge of that country is Sandinista and that might as well be communist and so we'll, we'll see if it's really an election or just you know for show. Um, so that being said I do want to remind you all that all everybody everything in here is ultimately a creation of God and so that being said everyone yeah it's like we have the good angel and the bad angel on our shoulders you know but um, we all have free will and people can change and so we can as healers and as light workers, we can send out positive vibrations towards the leaders of this world. And I'm getting covered in goosebumps as I say that to you guys. So please send out healing energy and prayers so that the leaders who become elect will act from a harmonious, loving place going forward. Um, now, also, I did want to talk about the full moon. I know that it's happening on Monday the 14th, but, um, well, from the Americas, we are going to see the moon physically at its biggest on the 13th, which is Sunday. And so I'm kind of, I don't know, a little bit on the fence about which day to do my full moon party. But um, so it's the full beaver's moon. There's also several other names for it. And for this particular week, I've been I've been hanging out with actually three stones. I keep them in my bra, don't judge me. <laughs> um, so I have Lapis Lazul, which is actually associated with this moon. It's funny because I've been hanging out with it all week um, with my violet flame decrease. And then also a friend of mine recommended um, this is Black Obsidian. There we go. And I've been using my Herkimer Diamond to magnify both of these. So I've been using all three of these combined. Back they go. <laughs> so a um, little bit of fun facts about the full moon because I love knowing about this stuff. So the full moon is actually, it's coincidentally spinning at the same point that we're spinning and so that's why they're both meeting so close and that's how it becomes so big visibly from planet Earth. Um, and it is the biggest it's ever been since 1949 and it won't be this big again until 2034 um, and so yeah again it's visibly to the Americas it's going to be its largest on the 13th which is this Sunday of this week but the moon will be on Monday um, so yeah those are my notes 
I'm gonna get on with shuffling the cards here for you guys. Sorry about that long message there. Okay, let me clear the deck. We've got shh, shh, shh. And separate the archangels. It is a week filled with blessings. It's such a wonderful week. Okay, this is our first card. They're taking their time. I get the feeling it's going to be a complex week and there's room for a lot of misunderstanding. Yeah. Okay, I got another card. And another. Oh, that's the last card? Okay. All right, we've got it. And then there's an angel that wants to work with us. So I'm going to shuffle the archangel cards separately. Here we go. Uh -huh. Oh, we have two angels this week. Fabulous. All right, so I'm just going to gather them here. Oh, there's some of them are upside down. Gosh, my deck is a mess. <laughs> I need to straighten my cards out. Okay. Um, so we have the Ten of Air. And this is the end of a difficult situation. Gosh, it couldn't be truer in my case. Um, and it's embrace the change and expect that things are going to get better now. Recovering from an addiction. So a lot of us are abandoning our addictions. This could be even something as insignificant as letting go of eating animal or... Um, and it's not insignificant, it's huge. Or it could also be letting go of sugar or caffeine or cigarettes or, you know, those pills that they prescribe us. Anything. And I'm not saying to stop doing that, but perhaps you feel like you can do it on your own and you want to give that a try and you've been getting that message and sometimes, you know, you have to follow your gut. So, um... That's the Ten of Air. And then we got the Page of Earth. We are constantly being reminded that we are students here and we need to go out and go back to study or find a new area of study, a new challenge. Um, and it's also good news about financial matters. So this is wonderful. Then we also got the Ace of Air. And so this has to do with a flow of ideas and inspirations coming from the Heart Chakra. And this is also an unveiling of the truth. It's, it's finally seeing things for the way that they are. It's a little bit harsh, you know, but it's, it's the ability to take that negative and turn it into a positive. This has a lot to do with transmutation. So there's going to be an ugly situation that we'll be able to turn into something so much more beautiful than we could have ever possibly anticipated had it not been that ugly we wouldn't be able to turn it into something so much more beautiful. Like, that's how powerful it is. So, um, it's a rough start, so to speak. Um, and then we've got... We don't often get this card. It's the Five of Fire. And... This has to do with what I was saying just before in the previous card. So this is, like... There's conflict because people are pulling all different kinds of ways and it could be dealing also with, you know, the political situation. It could be with a lot of different things. So there's a lot of conflict and bothersome details, conflict with others and competing goals. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> Have a good day. Um... So then we also have the Six of Fire. And this is, it's good news. It's good news, it's on its way. See this guy on the horse, he represents a messenger. And it's a victory. Also public recognition, so it could be like, I don't know, someone making mention of us on Facebook or, or giving us a good review or a magazine or, or something like that, something very public. Um, so this is great. And then we got two angels this moon, and it's 
this month, this week. <laughs> I'm so dyslexic. Um, so we got Archangel Zadkiel, and this is balance. This means that we're either working too hard and not enjoying life, or we're enjoying life too much and not working too hard. <laughs> so there needs to be a balance between the two. And the other thing is the work that we're doing. They're telling me we're so heavenly, heavily heavenly yeah I said that on purpose sorry yeah they're saying I said that on purpose it's it's heavenly because our soul is so invested in what we're doing and so we have to be able to balance the emotional the emotional and the mental aspect of what we're doing there needs to be a balance between the two so that it can emerge properly because if it's going to emerge too much from the emotional aspect it won't be logical and if it's too much from the logical aspect it will be completely disconnected from what your soul mission is so there needs to be a balance between the two if that makes sense and now it's really funny that we got <laughs> for the full moon we got Archangel Haniel and so she wants to point out that our psychic abilities are on point and we're aware of all of the things that are taking place in the behind of the scenes there's divine timing and it's like we just we can't see it but we get that feeling that intuition and so we have to we have to be able to navigate and trust our own inner voice um, she's saying to release the fears that are holding us back and um, it's funny that that's really speaking out to me because they've been wanting me to do a guided meditation and that word, they want me to like chant it to you guys. They want me to say release, release, release. Um, so that's gonna be up and coming. And yeah, basically that's the reading for the week. So guys, I really want to stress, you know, it's 11-11 this week. We need to keep our thoughts in the light. We also need to pray for the global consciousness to shift and that does include for our global leaders. They were created by God ultimately. So were the fallen angels. I perceive that at some point, because Lucifer and God go back so far back, they have to be ancient friends. You know, at some point there's going to be harmony and love in a reunion. And this battle has already been won. So I hope you have a wonderful week filled with blessings, realizations, and spiritual ascension. Mwah. I love you all. Love yourself and love everyone around you.